What's up guys, it's me again, Crush Pixel. Today I have some very awesome stuff for all the map makers out there. If you ever wanted to have fully resettable adventure maps, this is now possible in Minecraft 1.8 snapshot using the slash block data command. So what I have here is just a little house. Let's imagine this is in an adventure map. And you just get in there, say, hey bro, there's some furnace stuff, some items in the chest, let me just grab them. And I'll put that coal inside, give me that cooked chicken, and yeah, I'll just play some sounds. And, ah, here's some tools. And once the whole map is finished and the player is done, um, you want to reset the map and this is now as simple as just clicking a button. So everything here inside of here gets reset. The furnace has the raw chicken in it, although it's still burning. Yeah, that's a bug. The chest is reset. The hopper is empty. And the important stuff is in there again. Even though I still have it in my inventory. So this works for every tile entity on the map. Um, redstone circuits, you have to reset them manually, of course, but this is just what my filter does. Um, it creates such a block data command, um, and for example, in this case, we have here we have a chest, um, and it tells the command block or the chest which items it should contain and what MBT data it should have, and everything gets automatically done by the filter. So the even better thing is I once ran the filter on all of these chests just to test something and yes it's actually possible. Um, it sets these comparators automatically and uh, the repeaters automatically um, so you can have huge structures like this and it's still working. So yeah it's awesome for map makers and I'm just going ahead to MC Edit and show you how the whole stuff is done. So everything you actually have to do is select every single tile entity you want to have resetted. Let me just make that selection a bit bigger to make sure select everything. Then you go to filter and select block. No, that's not it. Um, block data structure. And then you just set the relative position where you want to have it. For example, I want to have it 10 blocks on the X coordinate um, moved and then five blocks above. I hit filter, save, and here we have our structure. It's perfectly working. It's just awesome. Here we have our beauty. Isn't it awesome? The filter download is as always in the description. Make sure to check out my other videos if you like this one and see you next time. Bye!